Today at Eleven Labs, we're super excited to announce that our conversational AI is now multimodal, so our voice agents can process both text and voice at the same time. Now, to set this up, it's super easy. Just go to the widget configuration and allow text input, and your voice agent will be able to speak to you um, and understand both text and, and voice. If you wanted to just be a text agent, um, you can switch to text only mode and it will be like a traditional chatbot. Now, of course, you can deploy this via the widget um, with a single line of HTML, um, or if you want to use our SDKs or our WebSocket, um, they also have support for this multimodality and make sure to check out the docs. Now, the reason we're super excited for this is we've seen a couple of common failure modes at 11 Labs when deploying voice agents in businesses. Um, for example, transcribing emails um, is quite hard to get 100% perfect. And if it goes wrong, um, well, then you're, you're going to be looking up the wrong user, for example. Um, and then also credit card numbers. Um, if you're trying to get the user to speak 16 numbers in a row, that's a super annoying experience for a user. Whereas if they can just type them in quickly, um, well, that's a lot smoother for a user. And we think text uh, really is going to help make these interactions much more natural, have much more flow. Um, and they also benefit from all the other innovation we've done on our conversational AI platform, where we can um, we have the best voices in over 32 languages, um, and we have the best speech-to-text models and text-to-speech models, and we're also already deployed everywhere with Twilio and SIP trunking infrastructure. So I'm going to show how it works with a refund agent that is going to ask me for an order number and a email before I can process my my um, my refund. And on top of that, I'm going to try and ask to switch halfway through to Italian and show that that still works. Hey there. Hey, um, I would love to get a refund, please. Hello, Angelo. I'm happy to help you with your refund request. Could you please provide your order number and the reason for the refund? Sure. So I'm going to write to you my order number. Um, and the reason for the refund, well, yeah, like it arrived and it was uh, already broken, which was super annoying. Thank you for providing that information, Angelo. I'm sorry to hear that your order arrived broken. To proceed with the refund, could you please share your email address? Yeah, sure. I'm going to write to you uh, my, um, my email address. But is it all right if uh, you talk to me in Italian from now on? Certo, nessun problema. L'indirizzo email che mi hai fornito è angelo at example.com. Ho appena elaborato il rimborso. Ci sono altre domande che posso aiutarti a rispondere? No, grazie. È tutto là. Arrivederci. Um, and if you don't speak Italian, well, he just said, uh, I, I've given you the refund. Um, can I help with anything else? So we're really excited to see that the, um, the opportunities that this can unlock for people and how they can use our widget to create really immersive uh, multimodal experiences. Um, we hope this helps out your business.